We got a Pioneer CTW 500. This is uh, a double cassette deck, a basic one. Dolby B, Dolby C, buddy of mine brought it to me using it for transfer tapes. He said it went dead, had to look at it and see what's wrong with it. So here we go. So this is the Pioneer CTW 500 cassette deck. Buddy of mine brought this over, says it went dead when he was using it to copy some tapes. So let's find out why it went dead. So I got power applied to the unit. Adobe C light lights up. But nothing else is working. Remove the screws. Oh, might help if I take out the last two. What the hell? What the hell is that? Some, some idiot put a spring. This looks like a spring that was a strain relief on the end of a cord or something. Some idiot stuck that in place of a fuse. Harry, you're an idiot. That's the guy's name that owns it. I don't know if he did it or not, but... <laughs> it's like... Well... It may have a serious problem now. If it had a problem and that fuse was supposed to blow, having a solid metal spring in there, it's sure not, not going to blow that, that's for sure. Um, hmm. And yes, that was my reaction because I took the top off this thing in real time. I didn't stage that. What the hell is that? That's. You saw it when I saw it. Let's see if this other fuse is cooked. Well, I do believe this fuse is cooked. Ah, man. Yeah, it's blown. Maybe that's all that's wrong with it. Wouldn't that be something if it was just a blown fuse? I have a feeling there's probably going to be more than a blown fuse now, though, because somebody had... Somebody literally put the penny in behind the fuse. Like, like people that do this, this would be the type of person that... You know, when they had the, the screw-in fuses on their home, the old home screw-in fuses, they'd put a penny in behind it, you know, because the fuse blew. That's the equivalent of doing that. I mean, I've seen people wrap the fuse up in, like, tin foil from cigarette paper. That was always a fun one. You know, they, always smokers, right? Um, they'd use the, uh, the paper that was foil on one side that, their smokes were wrapped up and they'd wrap the fuse in that. Of course, that would get hot and then the paper would ignite, would ignite and then they had more serious problems. First, let's see what that fuse was for. Is it an AC or a DC fuse? 9 volts AC. 9 volts AC. So that's, that's on, the, DC, uh, that's on the, the secondary side of the transformer. So, across there, there'd be like 18 volts. Where are we here? Are they on the same? Yeah, 19 volts. So so this is our power supply here. One of the fuses blew on it. Uh, we may have a regulator problem. Uh, should make sure that both of those... I, I hooked up test leads, but my, one of my test leads might have been blown here. I'm just going to jump right again here. I want to see whether I get any power before I go and change the fuses. Just because I don't have a lot of F-style fuses. So... Um, We'll, we'll bypass it for now. I, I tried it with my jumper, but I don't know. One of these jumpers might have been open, so let's just measure whether my... My jumpers are any good. Yeah, 30k ohms. I think this jumper is no good. That's probably why it didn't do anything. Let's just try some new ones. Okay. That one's good. I'm 
make sure that this one's good here 0.2 ohms yeah this one's good okay because you see this this one must I must I should throw this out I think this one's no good Appears to be all over the map, doesn't it? I think that jumper's all good. We'll toss that. Okay, power it up. Oh. Yeah, see now things seems to be working. I think the problem with this was just the blown fuse. That fuse. Because the tape deck is now appeared to be working. Well, that's a nice simple one. Let's find a couple new fuses. And here I was expecting this thing to have some serious problems like regulators and stuff. Well, we don't know. It might still have some serious problems. But we'll try new fuses and see whether the tapes play. It's just not an auto reverse. Oh, that works. Oh, he's transferred this tape already. I guess he'll be giving me this tape. Uh, it's a buddy of mine that owns this thing. He gives me all of his old tapes when he's finished transferring them to. Uh... Yeah, that works. When he's finished transferring his cassettes, he. Uh, gives me his cassettes and I'll bulk erase them and uh, most of these are in pretty good shape. So I'll bulk erase the tapes and then uh, use them for other things like uh, putting test tones and stuff on. This is a 120. High fidelity for music and voice. Sony. This was actually was probably a pretty good tape in its day. And it doesn't even show any signs of wear. But uh, as I said, this is a buddy of mine that owns this one. and. Uh, Yep, and he's an electrician. That's why I called him an idiot. <laughs> Putting a, I don't know whether he put that in there or whether it was like that when he got it, but I mean, that's that's just ridiculous. Stick a big spring like that in there in place of a fuse. You know, I mean, come on. You can use a single strand of wire. Like, you know, like take some wire apart, just like, a, like take a 16 gauge wire or a 18 gauge wire apart and just take a single strand of wire and wrap that around there if you've got nothing else at least it's going to resist current it's going to blow something like that's not going to blow it's going to create smoke somewhere else anyway now nah, this one's fixed i'll clean the heads on this before i send it away Pretty dirty. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. So I guess I need to make a recording to see how this sounds. So we'll start it up. and record something. Okay, let's uh, take a listen to this unit. I'm going to plug it straight into the camera so you guys can hear right off the uh, tape.
Okay, there it is, all done, back together. Good for however long it lasts. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon. Bye for now.